found my passion, okay? I just want you guys to go back and just visualize this a little bit more. Back in the day when we were not able to um, uh, communicate with each other, we had no way of, uh, of finding instant information. My father was a person that always had encyclopedias in the house, and that's what we, and I still have them all because my parents are, are deceased now, but um, we have encyclopedias like crazy. My dad collected them. He thought they were great for knowledge, not you know, for, for have for knowledge. And um, I was raised in, as a Southern Baptist, and um, I went to church all the time, and I kind of got into it, even though I kind of felt like there was something not right here. I had a lot of problems with some of the stories. Uh, Cain and Abel, Noah's Ark, I mean, come on now. Tower of Babel pissed me off so bad. I, I just could not understand that story, and I was just like, what? Why couldn't they just learn another language? Why did they have to be separated from each other and put mother over here and child over here and they were separated from each other and they couldn't, they were forced to live in other countries because they couldn't live, speak that language that whatever, that bothered me. I thought, why can't you just learn the language? Why do you have to separate mothers from fathers and children? As a child, that really, that story was kind of what did it to me. I, I just couldn't handle it. So anyway, in the very, um, the group that I, the family I was raised in, I was the youngest child, and um, my, my children, my parent, my siblings were much older, and I was the weird one, and um, I was not able to. You guys can all identify with that. Huh? Um, <laughs> we were not. I was not allowed to really question things very much. I didn't have any mentors. Of course, we had no internet. We had nothing of the sort. So I had never heard. Now you guys are gonna have this a hard time to believe this. I know. I'd never heard of the word atheist. I had never heard of it. I, if I'd had, I didn't know what it, I'd never, it just went over my head. I didn't know that it was possible not to believe in a God. It didn't dawn on me. So here I am attending church three days a week and um, questioning kind of what's going on. We're looking at the other religions around me. I was really getting into cults and not getting into them, but I was very interested in why people believe things they believe. So um, high school, I'm in probably a sophomore or junior in high school. And my um, homeroom teacher, member homerooms, and uh, his name is Mr. Foreman, and I wish he was alive today, I could talk to him, but he died many years ago. And um, flag salute, you know, you do your flag salute in the morning, and he skipped the under God part. And I thought, why is he doing that? You know, I was into Nixon and oil and all that stuff, I mean, I knew everything, because I was you know, 15 or 16. So, um, you know, I knew all about politics, wait till I can vote. So, I, you know, he did the flag salute, and I asked him one day, I said, Mr. Foreman, why do you miss the under God part? And he says, because I'm an atheist. How do you spell that? I don't know what that is, you know? I don't know. What is that? So I started looking it up in dictionaries and encyclopedias, and, and I kind of got a definition, and I thought, wow, you cannot believe in God? And then they had this thing called agnostic. And so I tried that on for a while because, you know, I didn't want to go all the way, you know, and go that far. That was, you know, uh. So I could not have talked to my mom about this. My mom was 40 when she had me. So she was already like a grandmother, and I was never really close with my parents. But um, so I went to the library, okay? This is, we couldn't, remember those places? <laughs> so I found this book, and I brought it here today. This isn't the library book. I, I, did, I did buy one later. This isn't the very one. It's, can you imagine the fees on that? There would be somebody out here to arrest me right now. There she is. Finally, we're going to pay off the debt in the library now with all the fees she owes. That house you think you own? Okay. All about atheists, Madam, Madam, Madeline Murray O'Hare. Anybody heard of her? Yes. She was something else, right? Okay. So I had this book in the library. Now, I want you to know that this book was porn, is considered porn, would be like considered porn in my parents' house. It would have been, I would have been, I can't even imagine what would have happened to me if they found this book. So here I am, I'm 16 or 17 years old, something like that, and I'm at the library trying to check this book out, and I'm terrified because it's a small library right around the corner from my house. And I had all sorts of ways of doing it because I couldn't, you know, you can only read it for a week or so and then you had to return it. So I didn't get very far, especially because I had to read it like either late, late at night under the covers or I had to go into the closet and read it sneakingly. I couldn't really read it because my mom was going to find out. She was home all the time. And I swear she was watching me. And Jesus was watching me all the time too. Did you know that? Jesus was always watching. So I was still, you know, a little, well, wait a minute. 
So, I had ways of sneaking this out of the library, but checking it out, because I was a good moral girl, I was a good Christian girl, um, you know, we would, we would, I would take a whole bunch of books, pile them up, sneak it in the middle, and this is before they had barcodes, right? So they had to open the book and go stamp, you know, like that on the little card, and then go out like this. So I had to sneak it amongst other books, because I didn't know if I was able to check out this book, because I was 18. So, um... We'd sneak it out. I'd sneak it out amongst other books as quickly as I could, so she didn't notice any distractor or something like that. She didn't really look at the thing like, "Nice day," <laughs> you know. When she's ready to look at the book, you're like, "Nice shirt," you know. Whatever you have to do to keep them from doing it, and I had to do that several times. And I am not kidding. That is how I found atheism is from this book, and I had to literally, seriously hide the fact for a long time. Okay, so. Um, 